welcome back to my youtube channel this is your guest called sept i want to say thank you for tuning in thank you so much wherever you are all over the world you are highly welcome and to my returning subscribers you are most welcome if you are new here you are highly welcome today i shall be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful dress on your screen it is called a six pieces short dress with a yoke and I hope you will like so. it. I wouldn't want you to miss any part of this tutorial because it's going to be an interesting one. I'll be showing you how to measure it, how to cut it, and how to stitch it. Isn't that amazing? And if you're wondering how I made this my draped Captain Bubu dress, the link is in my description box. Kindly click on it and it will take you there right away. You can also rock this dress in different way. Okay, it's a simple free dress you can rock it with your belts with the belt design it looks here's the look with the belts and without the belt this is the look so it's a free dress okay easy to wear and then eh, you know it's a classy one very cute the basic measurements needed for today's tutorial are the shoulder line, the bust line, the under bust, the waist, and the length of the dress. Okay, so without further ado, let's move on to the working table. Don't change the dye. Now, for this tutorial, I will be working with this uh, two set of uh, materials. This is an uh, African print. All together here, I have four yards. And this is a lace fabric. All together here is a half a yard. The measurements I'll be working with for this tutorial are shoulder line. And from shoulder line to this line is the arm old depth, which is also the chest line. All together here, I have my nine inches. Okay. And from the shoulder line to this line is my bust line. All together here, I have 11 inches plus half an inch making a 11 and a half and shoulder line to the under boss is 15 inches plus half an inch and from the shoulder line again to this line to the waist line is a 17 inches plus half an inch and from the shoulder line to the hem line of the dress is a 42 inches then i added one inch to this making a 43 inch line because i place my pattern paper on fold and I'll be placing my fabric on fold as well so this line is my boss pan and my boss pan is 9 inches I divided it by 2 making 4 and a half and because this is going to be a panel dress I'll be joining it with a 1 inch half an inch for joining and half an inch to tidy it up making a 5 and a half okay so 4 and a half plus one inch making five and a half from this folded edge to this line is a five and a half for my bust pan and i took that bust pan from the shoulder line to my waist line as you can see here okay the hem line of the dress i place the one quarter of my hip which is 13 inches plus one inch for allowance making a 14 inches from this uh, folded edge that's top on my waistline i connected it to the hemline of the dress as you can see so in form of a triangle okay and for the back piece it's going to take same measurement and same form but the only difference is the zipper allowance and I'll be doing that on my fabric because I don't have a much fabric or more much paper here. Okay, so take note of that. The zipper allowance will be coming for my fabric. Okay, but if you are making yours, if you have enough paper, always place your zipper allowance. Okay, and this is between two inches and a one inch. I'll go ahead and cut it out now, and I will cut it from the shoulder line. Yeah, your best side, breathe in the world, fake us a smile, walk in the line. Tell me this side is gonna look now. You see, so I'll go ahead and place this on my fabric 
and while cutting it i'll place it on fold like this i've placed my fabric on fold also place the pattern paper on fold on the fabric so i'll be cutting out the front eh, panel now for the front piece i'll be cutting out three panels okay so i'll go ahead and cut it out going to look after cutting it so i'll go ahead and cut two more of these for the front then i'll proceed to the back i've cut okay. out the back piece and this is what i did like i said i placed the the paper on it and i added one and a half inches to it for zipper allowance okay so by the time i slit it open i will have a four panels for the back for the back this is one two three four so by the time i join these together i would have three pieces okay but because i slitted it open that's why it's four pieces now but when i join it i would have a three pieces so three for the back and Go three for now and join each piece together i will join this together and then join this together okay so after joining it i'll come back for the next step like i said i have four panels for the back now because i slitted the zipper allowance open which is this okay and this is the other two panels so after joining it i'll have the whole three panels for the back and then three panels for the front all together will be six panels i'll go ahead now and then stitch it and i'll be taking you guys along with joining the back piece together first and i'll be taking the zipper allowance part which is the midpoint of the back panel okay you know that i slitted it open that is the zipper the zipper piece i slitted it open and this is it so I will take both together now, right side facing each other, and I will take my zipper allowance, which is a one and a half, okay? And while doing so, I will stitch it on the straight path. You know, this path has angle, so I will not be stitching it up from there. I will stitch it up from the zipper allowance, which is the straight path, okay? So I will do that right here. This is my life. After stitching it, this how it's going to look for the zipper panel. So you can see now, this is the zipper allowance. So I will take the side panels, right side facing each other. Then I will stitch it all with one inch. Remember, I left one inch. So I will stitch it up. And when you get to the waistline, you lift the footer up like this because you want to have that shape on the waistline. So you bend the fabric like this. Then you take your one inch. I have two panels now this is one and this is two so I will take the third one and join it to the other side of the mid panel of the zipper allowance okay now after doing this I will repeat same thing on the front panels okay after joining it this is going to look this is the back panel This is the inside and this is the zipper allowance. This is the front piece. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So I'll go ahead now and then open up the seam like this and then iron it. Okay. Iron it. 
both for the front and the back uh, piece okay so for the sake of this tutorial i will not be adding lining to it but i will advise you if you are making it for yourself or clients always say uh, add your lining and the same way you cut the fabric same way you are going to cut the lining as well okay you cut it same way join the same way then you use the wrong side of the lining after joining it like you use it to cover the wrong side of the dress that is wrong side of the lining facing the wrong side of the dress so i'll go ahead now and then iron the seam after ironing it i'll go ahead now and then place both fronts and the back piece together like this So I will done placing the front piece on the back piece. So I will go ahead now and take my body. First thing I will do is to mark out the half an inch for the shoulder line here. The allowance I left on the upper part. This is it. Then from there I will mark my arm hole depth. The bust line. The bust line is 11 and a half from the shoulder line on the bust 15 and a half on the waist line from the shoulder line my waist line is 17 and a half including half an inch making 17 and a half so i'll go ahead now and place my body measurement the first thing i will do is to place my shoulder my shoulder to shoulder is 16 inches divided by two that will be eight inches then i'll be adding half an inch to it making it eight and a half from the folded edge not from the zipper allowance from folded edge I'll place eight and half. And then for my neck width, I'll place four inches. Part where the eight and a half stops, I'll go down by one inch. I'll connect it to my neck width. The one inch here is, is for shoulder slope, okay? So from this folded edge, I went in here by eight and a half for my shoulder line plus half an inch, making eight and a half. Then from this eight and a half, I went down by one inch for shoulder slope. Then I connected it to my neck width, which is four inches. Place my shoulder line here to connect it to the shoulder slope. This will be my chest line now. From this chest line, I'll go ahead and place the one quarter of my bust circumference. The one quarter of my bust circumference is 12 inches plus half an inch for ease, making 12 and a half. Same thing I have here, I will place it on the bust line, 12 and a half. On the bust, the one quarter of my underboss is 10 inches from this folded edge and when you are measuring it if you're having problem you open it up like this okay because it goes like this sometimes you open it up okay so i'll place 10 inches from this folded edge place it then i'll add half an inch to it for his making 10 and a half Then for the waistline, the one quarter of my waist is 11 inches. So I'll go ahead and connect it together. That's it. So from this 11 inches, from this 11 inches, I'll connect it down to the line of the dress like this 
you just leave when you get to this damp part you just come in by two inches okay because if you take it like this it's going to affect the wideness of the bottom part of the dress okay so from the edge of the dress like this you come in by two inches take it down so for the armhole depth now i will look for the midpoint of my armhole that will be four inches and that will come in by half an inch connect it then I will take it so that will be for the front arm O or from this edge you mark you go in by one and a half so from this one and a half you curve it okay so from this upper part I will join I will add there half an inch for joining For the neck depth, I'll be taking a 6 inches, both for front and the back. Remember the neck width is 4 inches. Then I'll go ahead and then give it a curve. Go ahead and cut it out now, but I'll be cutting out the back piece first. Then later, I'll cut out the front arm hole, okay? See it now, see it now, see now Beautiful people still make mistakes, it isn't perfection For the allowance, I'll just give it 2 inches and blend it to the damp part For the half yoke, I'll be going down by 9 inches Then I added half an inch to it, making 9 and a half I'll go ahead and cut it out, both front and the back We'll use this to cut out the lace fabric okay then before that i will trim out the front i've placed my fabric on fold and i'll be using the upper part of the dress to cut out the yoke okay so this is for the front piece i'll go ahead and cut it out now then i'll be adding half an inch to this damp part to join it to the dress for the front piece for the back piece i will repeat same so let's go ahead now and uh, join everything together okay. open it up and then place it right side facing each other center to center then pin it up i will run half an inch on it Remember, I left half an inch, so I'll give it half an inch. Okay? For the back piece, I will open up the zipper allowance. I'll place it like this. Right side facing the right side. Okay? You turn the upper part towards you, upside down. And you place it like this. Right side facing each other. Secure it with your pin. Same thing on this side. Then half an inch. So I'll go and do that right away. Okay. After attaching the yoke to the main fabric, this side is looking now. This is the front piece. So after attaching it, I went ahead and top stitch in between the yoke and the fabric. This is the inside. I've also tidied up the inside. Like I said, I will not be adding lining to this uh, dress for this uh, tutorial. The back, I also went ahead and attached the zipper. This is the inside. So I'll go ahead now and place 
both front and the back piece against each other right side facing each other like this then i will join it shoulder to shoulder i will give it half an inch half an inch then when i'm done joining the shoulder to shoulder i will go ahead and uh, tighten up the neckline and i will be using this bias binding to tighten it up i will do that right away i've joined both the front piece and the back piece of the dress together so i will go ahead now and uh, take the armhole measurement from the shoulder line So I have 12 inches, including the seam allowance. Right. The whole length of my sleeve is uh, 11 inches, but it is not up to the it's not up to 11 inches now. So I'll be adding this fabric to the dark parts. On fold here, I have two inches. Then I will join it to this uh, lace. I'll be left with one and a half inches. So I'll go ahead now and place the measurements so my cap height force is four and a half plus half an inch to join it to the dress that will be five inches they say from the where the five inches hence i will place the arm or circumference which is 12 inches okay so i will look for the midpoint here altogether here i have 13 inches so i will look for the midpoint that will be six and a half Then I'll curve it from the cap height. Then I'll take it like so. I'll cut it now. So this is going to look after joining it. So I'll go ahead and do that right away. Then I will hem the hem part of the dress that we are done. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Pictures so perfect we play through. Only cause you set up the angle. Web that you we've got us tangled so caught in what's before our eyes Show so off your fantasy, fantasy, your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to encourage you You've been living your good life Catch a glance from the outside Then you see me now, see me now, see now 